too many instances where it has <laughs> Okay, good morning everybody. This morning's class is literally just a full body flow. Um, I think quite a lot of you enjoyed last week, so I thought I'd try and do another full body one. Um, we're literally gonna be integrating the whole core container, working from top to toe, and hopefully there'll be some plyo in there as well, so hopefully you'll finish feeling full of energy, maybe a little bit tired. Um, but ready for the day ahead nonetheless. So let's start coming onto our backs. Let's just take a moment to breathe into your body this morning. Feel your belly rise on your inhale, taking up space. Feel it soften on your exhale. As you breathe, think about this 360 dance between the inhale and the exhale. So the ribs are moving upwards, outwards, backwards towards the mat. And then they soften back to the center line on your exhale. Just take this moment to pause, to check in, to be in your body. Cherish this moment. And then let's take a moment to tune into our bodies this morning. Notice how they're feeling. Notice whether you're holding on to any tension or tightness. And just notice where in the body you might be holding that. And then visualize sending your breath around the body through those tissues, cells, leaving nothing untouched, moving any tension or tightness away as you move that breath through the body. And then take a moment to tune into your mind this morning. Again, noticing how that feels, noticing whether it feels sludgy or calm, still, overactive. Notice any thoughts, feelings, emotions that are cropping up for you this morning or that perhaps have been snowballing this week. Observe them with no judgment. Allow them to be. But then just visualize popping them on an imaginary cloud, anything that's not going to be helpful for the time that you're on the mat. Pop them on that imaginary cloud and just let that cloud float past your eyes. Those thoughts will be there later, but give yourself this chance to be present, to be connected, mind and body on your mat this morning. And when you're ready, we're going to take a block between our thighs. If you haven't got a block, grab a cushion, a book, anything that's going to be similar. And then peel your bum off the mat, coming into your low bridge. Make sure your feet, hips, ankles, big toes are parallel. You're squeezing that between that block, so you're activating that inner line all the way up into the pelvis, getting the pelvis connected. And you're rooting down through the soles of the feet evenly. You're maybe now sort of slightly on your shoulder blades. You don't want to be too high up onto your shoulders. You want to make sure you've got this length in the lower back. So tuck your tailbone towards your back of your knees, energetically pull your two front hip points towards each other, thinking about that middle diamond, that space between the belly button and the pubic bone. Think about pulling all of the energy in towards there and then down and back towards the spine. Again, take a moment just to breathe into the body in and out through the nose. And then we're gonna start to pulse. Little lift and lower, squeezing those glutes as you move through the lift and lower. Right hand to the sky, pull back on the right fingers with the left hand. Really spread through the palm, through the forearm. Open that thumb out to the middle. Push up to the ceiling with the same force that you pull back. Keep the breath flowing. Really nice. Notice how your wrist feels. Maybe if you've been sat at a computer all week, it feels a bit junky. So just really open up into that space. Swap sides. Left hand pulls back. 
You're pulling back with the right fingers, spreading that thumb, pushing up to the ceiling. Make sure you don't overlock the elbow. The elbow wants to be connected, but it doesn't want to be hyperextended. And it doesn't want to be bent either. You want that connection into the shoulder. Good. Hands to fists, circle in those wrist joints, mobilize both ways, really get into that wrist. And then let's do our jazz hands, big stars, tight fists, and let's warm up those forearms. Really go as fast as you can and make those fists and stars as tight and then as big as you can. Good, let's go three, two, one, shake it off. Pause at the top, roll upper, middle, lower with control down to the mat. Nice, remove your block for a wee moment. We're gonna come back up into our bridge. Think about that energy pulling towards the midline. And then you're gonna take the left knee over the left hip and then point the left toe to the sky. So you're loaded through the right glute. If you feel unstable, take those arms out by your sides so that you can give yourself a bit of stabilization. Then we're gonna pulse into that right glute for 10, nine, squeeze up, seven, slurp into the midline, keep that low back long. Good, four, three, lift up, two, really squeeze, one, nice work, swap sides, left foot down, right leg to the sky again if you want to take your hands away, extra stability challenge, but there's absolutely no um, negative benefit in having your arms there. I'd rather you did the movement with control, with a little stabilization, then took the hands away and wobbled all over the place. And this didn't engage the bits we want to engage. Good. Let's do three, two, and one foot down and then roll upper, middle, lower, all the way down to the mat again. Good, let's move on to our abdominals and you can actually grab your block again between your thighs so you're squeezing something actively. Interlace the hands behind the head, elbows frame the face, inhale here, exhale lift, low belly pulls down and back, really slurp, that belly towards the mat, lift up into those elbows, good. Inhale, slowly come down. Exhale, we lift. Lifting to the elbows, good. Take the left arm past the left ankle, hug into the midline. Hand behind the head, inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Right arm past the right ankle. Keep that pelvis in neutral. Good, stay off those shoulders. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Nice work, everyone. Exhale, we lift. Left arm past the left ankle. Then you're gonna take that left arm in line with the left ear. Try not to take it too far back because it puts huge amounts of demand on. So make sure you can keep that pelvis neutral. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. Right arm past right ankle. Hug into the midline and then right arm in line with the right ear. Feel that quiver. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Good. Exhale, we lift. Left arm past the left ankle. Take it past the left ear. Take it past the left ankle. Take it past the left ear. Keep slurping into those abdominals. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Woo, this is spicy. Exhale, lift. Right arm past the right ankle. Slurp into the abdominals. Take it in line with the right ear. Past the right ankle. Past the right ear. Hand behind the head. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. Both arms reach past both ankles. Squeeze that block, hug into the midline. Hands behind the head, inhale, come down. Exhale, lift, slurp into the low belly. Reach those arms past the ankles. Take both those arms away 
past the ears, slurp to the belly, hand behind the head, inhale, come down. We've got one more. Ooh, exhale, lift, slurp to the mat, arms reach forwards, heads pushing back, take them in line with the ears, take them in line with the ankles, take them in line with the ears, feel that quiver, hand behind the head, inhale, come down, give your knees a little hug to your body, and then let's rock and roll, lengthen the spine, think about how fluidly woo, you can move, on the mat, lowering and then lifting up, using those abdominals. Pause for a nanosecond in your boat. Work those hip flexors, those deep abdominals, lengthen the spine, lovely job guys. And then come on over onto all fours. Think about wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, energetically dialing those hands out. We're gonna move to a fire, through a fire hydrant, but we're moving left to right, okay? If you've got a block, Put a block or a book on the base of your spine so that you make sure that you're not lifting your pelvis, you're just moving into your hip. If you lift your pelvis, the block will fall off, okay? So we're not a dog peeing on a post. We're just <laughs> taking that knee out a little bit to the side. Good. Move left to right. Think about the position of your abdominals. I'll show you front on. Really draw the neck back in space. Again, think about the weight distribution. So try and keep the weight central as you move. Super nice, guys. Good. And then on the next time you come to the left, we're gonna do 10 little pulses out to the side in the left. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep it controlled, four, three, two, one, nice. 10 little pulses out to the right. Keep the pelvis level. Notice if you have to change your stability, your balance, side to side, good. Six, five, keep pulsing, four, three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Release, interlace the hands, forearms on the mat, head comes between the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift the bum to the sky. Keep the neck in line with the spine. Keep lifting up and out of that mat. Right heel to the bum, circle three times in that right hip joint. Keep lifting up and out of the mat. Three times one way, three times the other way. Good. Mobilizing into that hip joint, swap feet, left heel to bum. Circle, keep lifting up and out of the mat. Push out of those forearms, lift out of those shoulders. Don't allow the back to round, don't allow yourself to sink forwards. Good. Feet down, knees wide, toes touch, arms reach forwards, take a child's pose. Breathe into that back body. Hopefully you're starting to feel this full body warmth as your body starts to respond to the input. Good. From here, come up to stand. Feet hip distance apart, stand at the top of the mat, soft knees, neutral pelvis, stack that head over those shoulders, over that pelvis, over those ankles, arms forwards and up, reach through those fingertips. Grow long through the, the fingertips and root down through the soles of the feet. I want you to feel that full body expansion. Hinge from the hips, bum goes back, plant the hands, left foot steps back, lower the left knee, bring the body up. Untuck this left toe and let's roll the shoulders. Make sure that left bum cheek is squeezing. Okay, stabilize it, give it a squeeze, make sure it's on. Good. Roll. And then hands to the mat, step back, plank. Zip up through the front line of the body. If you need to be in half plank, come to half plank. Keep pulling those shoulders on the back body. Draw the neck back in space, good. If you haven't already, lower the knees. Slowly lower with control. Heads of the shoulders stay lifted towards the mat. Wide arm baby cobra, hands off the side of the mat. Pull the chest through, squeeze the bum. Length in the back body. Good. Pull the chest through. 
release, frame the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back, down dog. Have a little pedal of those feet. Good, work into that back line, lovely. Left leg goes long, slowly move it towards the top of the mat. Don't use momentum, use your muscles. Lower the back knee, bring the body up, push through that right shin. So untuck the back foot, give that right bum a prod, make sure it's active. Drive down through the knee so you're getting that nice hip flexor stretch and then roll the shoulders this side. Big juicy shoulder rolls, one pulling then the other. Good, keep breathing. Nice work. Hands to the top of the mat, back foot steps in, lengthen the spine, come up to stand. Good job guys. First sequence, soft knees, arms forwards and up, reach through those fingertips. Slight hugging of the glutes, hinge from the hips, bum goes back, plant the hands, left foot steps back, lower the left knee, bring the body up. Left toe is tucked this time. We're going to go to cactus arms and we're pulling energetically one elbow towards the floor, then the other. So we're trying to resist the pull down in our own body. So we want to feel that muscle under your armpit beefing up as you pull the arm down. Make sure the glute on the left is being squeezed and you're gently hugging that right foot back towards the body. So pulling everything into the pelvis, good. If you've got a block, take it to the right side of your hip. If not, just have your hand down to the right. Left arm up and over, side bend. Again, squeeze, wrap this left glute down push through those left toes, grow out of the mat, okay? So as you push down, grow out over to the right and find that space in the hip flexor, in the left side body, breathe into that. Good. From here, back to center, hands to the mat. Step back, plank, zip up through the front line of the body. If you want, you can tap a knee left to right. Okay, give yourself an extra challenge, but if not, it doesn't matter if your knees are just on the floor, okay? Any variation is a good variation, good. Lower the knees if you haven't already, slowly lower towards the mat. Heads of the shoulders stay lifted. We're coming to cactus arms, so your arms are like goalposts out to the side, the elbow is in line with the shoulder, and then we're going to lift and lower the whole chest for 10, for nine, so the chest, the arms, eight, squeeze the back body, hug the bum, slap the abdominals, good, five, keep the neck in line with the spine, try not to chuck the chin forwards, as you lift, squeeze between those shoulders, work that back body, our back bodies get so forgotten in the nature of everyday life, so important to fire them up. The muscles are much smaller on the back side of your body and fewer than they are on the front. Good, let's do two more for good measure. <laughs> Last one, frame the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back down dog, have a pedal of those feet, left heel to your bum, circle that hip again, mobilize. Juicing it up, maybe it feels already better. Fingers crossed. Keep driving the weight equally into both hands, so try not to tip. And then you're going to take that left foot, step it behind the left wrist, and then the right foot. So we're coming back to that frog that we did last week. Left foot back, right foot back. Then right foot behind right wrist, left foot. You come into that sort of frog squat. Right foot back, left foot back. Left behind left, right behind right, left back, right back, right behind right, left behind left, right back, left back, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. We've got two more, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. God, it's a bit of a tongue tie actually when you keep going on that. Just take a moment to pause here to breathe and then you can walk your feet, keep your hands down, walk your feet to the top of the mat, come up 
to stand. Nice work, guys. Soft knees. Grab your blocks so they're ready. Make the opportunity to use every transition. Arms forwards and up. Reach through the fingertips. Hinge from the hips. Bum goes back. Plant the hands. Right foot steps back. Lower the right knee. Bring the body up. Squeeze that right bum cheek. Right toes tucked. Arms to cactus. Pull. Left to right. Slurp into the midline. Good. Really pull each elbow down <coughs> towards good your side or the floor but really feel like you're creating that resistance in your body as you do it good nice and then from here take the left a block if you've got one to the left hip if not just let your hand come down to the left side if you land your hand on the, on the block on the left, pull the shoulder away from the ear so you don't let the shoulder roll in and slide up. Right arm over, reach through those right fingertips. Let the neck soften down to the left. Drive through those toes, squeeze the right bum cheek. Find that space in the side body. Lovely. Should feel super opening and really nice. Good. From here, come back up. Hands to the mat, step back, plank. Remember, options. Half plank with your knees down, pull the chest through, or full plank. And then options again, tap the right knee, left knee, right knee. The pelvis is staying still. You're trying to keep the stillness in the body as you tap the knees. Good. Lovely. Two, one. Lower both knees. Slowly lower with control. Hug the bum. Slurp into the belly. Elbows go back. Don't dive that head forwards. Good. Wide arm to cactus, so arms in that goal post again. And you're going to lift and lower the head, the shoulders, the arms. Squeeze into the midline. Good. Lift, release. Lift, release. Lift. Good. Really hug the back body. Make sure you're not dumping into the lower back. Squeeze between those shoulders. Make the shoulders work. Good. Don't jut the chin forwards. Keep the breath flowing. Good job, guys. Nice. Let's go three, two, and one. Frame the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back. Down dog, have a pedal of those feet. Lovely, and then we start right foot behind right ankle, left foot behind left ankle to our frog squat. Right foot back, left foot back, left foot behind left ankle, right foot behind right ankle, left foot back, right foot back, right behind right, left behind left, right back, left back, left behind left, right behind right, left back, right back, right, left, right, left. If you can, keep your hands on the floor. Keep pulling the chest through as you move. Opening, finding the space in the hips to get that hinge back. If you haven't got your hands on the floor, you can always put them on the blocks to give yourself a little more height. Good. Nice. We're coming to the last one. Left behind left, right behind right, left back, right back. Good. Pause here for a moment. Breathe into that back body space. Draw the breath deep down into the pelvis, laterally into the ribs, and then walk those feet with control to the top of the mat. Good job. Come up to stand. Second sequence, soft knees. Arms forwards and up, reach through the fingertips, hinge from the hips, bum goes back, plant the hands, left foot steps back, lower the left knee. We're coming to our cactus pulls again. Back toe is tucked, arms out, pull one then the other, hug into that midline, squeeze that left bum cheek, good. Keep the breath flowing in and out through the nose. Nice work guys, good. Keep zipping everything up, pulling into the middle of that diamond, good. Hands behind the head, interlace them, slight back bend, so we're doing a little cat cow here. So push the head back into the hands, open the elbows wide, squeeze the bum cheek so you don't dump in the lower back. Elbows frame the face, chin to chest, 
You can roll forwards, let your elbow touch your knee maybe. Inhale, open up, lift out of the mat, squeeze your bum, round forwards, chin to chest, open through the back line of the body. It should feel already nice and loose, open up. Gaze slightly to the sky, round, chin to chest, open up, keep the breath flowing, round, chin to chest, good, open up, two more, good, lift out of the mat, keep those elbows wide, open through the front of the chest, place that gets super sticky, good, and then release from that, you're going to take your right hand inside your right foot. If you need a block, pop your hand on a block. You're going to swivel this left leg 90 degrees so the foot comes off the right edge of the mat. Your pelvis and your body is kind of pointing to the left. Left hand makes a fist into the floor. Pull from the left elbow, release the lower arm to the sky. Good. Pull from the elbow, release. Drop it back down, pull from the elbow, release. Make sure this right hand and right shoulder are pulling away from the ear. Good, pull from the elbow, release. Good, keep the glutes engaged. Two more, nice, last one. And then from here, lunge the left foot back to centre, rotate the left edge of the mat, side lunge. Sit back into those glutes. We're gonna do our windmill arms, okay? So the right hand goes to the left foot, as you move to the left, and then the left hand goes to the right foot as you move to the right, okay? So you're mobilizing left to right, really sit back into those glutes, pull the chest through, keep the neck in line with the spine. Nice work, guys. Three, two, one. Good, rotate back to the mat, step back to down dog, and then walk your feet out to plank. If you need to be in half plank, be in half plank. Then you're going to lift up and back, walk your hands back towards your feet, come up to stand. Then we're rolling down our legs again, walking our hands up. So we're doing some plank walkouts. Set the glutes in plank, zip up through the front line of the body, lift up and back, hands walk back to plank, uh, to down dog, sorry, and then up to stand. Roll back down again, hands walk out. So plank, wiggle your feet if you need to, to give yourself the space. Walk back, come up to stand. Nice work, we've got two more. Walk out, plank, change the position of your feet, okay? We don't have to keep our feet locked. We wanna be able to put ourselves in the position that we need to. Good, pull the chest through, set the shoulders again. Don't forget, if you're finding this too challenging, drop those knees. I'd rather you had great form than your body was basically going into meltdown. Good. Last one. Lift up and back. And then you can just have a little swagger to the top of the mat. <laughs> and then we're going to go on to the other side. <laughs> Soft knees, arms forwards and up. Reach through those fingertips. Hinge from the hips, bum goes back. If you've got your blocks, grab them. Plant the hands, right foot steps back, lower the right knee, bring the body up, squeeze that right bum cheek, and let's take those arms to cactus and pull. Okay, so the pelvis is level, you're pushing through those back toes, and you're pulling one arm, then the other against your own body weight. Nice work, guys. Keep the breath flowing in and out through the nose. Good job. Then from here, interlace the hands behind the head. Elbows are wide, push the head back into the hands, hug the belly to the two front hip points. Slight back bend, squeeze that right bum cheek, and then chin to chest, round, elbow to elbow. Really find that sort of closing of the front side of the body. Open up wide, elbows go back, squeeze that bum. Gaze to the sky, round, chin to chest. Open up, good, lift up and out of the mat. Round, chin to chest, we've got two more. Open up, squeeze that bum cheek, round, nice. Last one, open. As you round, feel like you're pushing backwards into that space. Imagine if you had a bra on, men, 
girls. If you've got a bra, that's where you're pushing into. Then from here, hands to the mat, lift the right knee, rotate to the right side lunge with our windmill arms, okay? So sit back into those glutes, get into that inner thigh, hand to opposite foot. Good. Breathe, keep the spine long, keep those knees so you hinge back. Yeah, lovely. Nice work, guys. Oh, there's a mochi. <laughs> She's watching you avidly, Simon. <laughs> and then rotate back to the top of the mat, hand back, foot back to down dog, push into the hands and feet evenly, lift up into the pelvis. And then from here, we walk out to plank, set the shoulders on the back body, and then walk our hands back towards our feet, come up to stand, roll down again, walk those hands out. Good. Step back, plank, zip up. Pause in that plank, feel that connection before you come up to stand. Roll down, walk the hands out again. We're like little monkeys. Good, set the shoulders. Lift up and back into the pelvis. Lovely, there's so much going on here. Full body activation, for sure. Good, lift up and back. Length in the spine, nice work guys. Roll it out. Set the shoulders on the back body. Super good. Last one. We've got this, guys. Lift up. Roll down. Walk out. Squeeze. Lovely. Lift up and back. And then have a little wiggle or a boogie to the top of the mat. Last sequence. Soft knee. 